It's a deserted island with 100 people, and you have to kill each other until one person is left. That is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It is a game with a ridiculous name that is endlessly delightful. The game has already made around $60 million in gross sales. Uh, that's two million copies. Uh, and this game isn't done yet. The game is expected to be complete in the next five months or so, but uh, they've already managed to achieve dramatic commercial success within the first two months, uh, which is a strong sign of how incredibly popular this game has become so rapidly. In any given game of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, you'll be on an island with 100 other people. It's deserted, you have no weapons, and you're parachuting in. And the first thing you have to do is try to find a weapon. And that's a moment of terror because there could be 10 other people around you, you could be totally alone, but you probably don't know. It's likely that you'll see other people parachuting in, and they have no weapons either, but everybody's got fists. And so you could be punched to death, or you could get a weapon first, or vice versa. It's not really clear, but the first 10 minutes is this scrimmage to try to get a weapon, armor, any resources you can, and to try to beat out other players to that stuff. The second stage is moving towards somewhere safe. So there's a massive white circle on the map, and as the game progresses, that circle gets smaller and smaller. And that's very important because it means that the 100 players that are on this massive island are being forced together closer and closer until they all have to fight each other in a very, very small area. It's forcing you to advance uh, in a way that is really fascinating and uh, encourages that kind of interaction with those hundred other players that you might not otherwise have if it didn't exist. So unlike games like Call of Duty or Battlefield, in Battlegrounds you don't have to actually kill anybody, right? This is a game about survival. This is a game not about killing as many people as possible. It's a game about surviving until the end. And so as a result, one of the strongest strategies in the game is simply hiding very carefully, uh, hopefully heavily armed. Combat is incredibly quick, it comes in short bursts, and often you don't see who's shooting at you, which is why you have to play so carefully. Uh, it's very important to run from cover to cover, just try to stay in, inside as long as possible. Uh, but then again, you might hear footsteps while you're inside, and then maybe a second later, somebody's got a shotgun and they're right next to you, where you can hear bullets in the distance and know that somewhere off to my right, there uh, is a gunfight happening. I should probably not go that direction. Uh, I could be upstairs in a building and I hear a door open downstairs. That's meaningful. That's something that in most games doesn't mean much, but means everything in Battlegrounds. Uh, sound design is incredibly important to the way the game works, to the way that I play the game, and it's a small aspect that they've clearly taken a lot of time to make crucial. And that's the kind of level of attention to detail that makes a game like Battlegrounds so incredibly engaging, so fun, something that millions of people immediately grabbed onto. There's a lot of trade-offs in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It's, should I go outside? Should I try to get safety? Should I go into a house and look for more stuff that might help me? Should I camp somewhere and wait for people to come by me? It, it depends. There's lots of different things you can do. And this is kind of the heart of this game, is this trade-off of risk and reward. Should I do this thing or that thing? Is it safe? You kind of don't know at any point, and that's what makes this game so good, is there's non-stop suspense, and it's incredibly fun as a result. There's gonna be stuff that happens in the game that I could have never anticipated, that's totally different than the last time I played it. And that is really fascinating and rare in most video games. PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds is available right now in early access on Steam. It is only available on PC. You cannot play it on Mac, I'm sorry to say. It is planned for console release at some point in the future on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. But if you want to play it right now, you can play it on Steam. It costs $30 and it's in early access.